I hope everybody George here just thought I'd give everyone a massive thank you for watching the videos that me and Scroft make really do appreciate it you're all bloody legends apart from some of you because obviously some of you faff about I've seen you in the comment section faffing don't wanna keep faffing right sort yourself out bloody hell fire some of you honestly got bloody screw loose god knows I also want to give a shout out to Owain Davies. Keep up my good work, buddy. You got this. And you can have a donut on me. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the video. And remember, stop bloody faffing. Late February and it's snowing again. No way. Tell you what, I got that just in time. Just in time. Bloody last caravan had had it. Two holes in it, starting to grow mould, but look at this now. Finally got myself a decent caravan. I know I said I was going to save up. But I just had to. And you know what? All thanks to Ross. Ross pointed this out for me. Now I've got a proper bed, and it's much better. It's still second hand, but yeah, an improvement. I'll tell you that. And I just scraped by. At one point, I thought I was going to have to bloody stay in George's house. My God, last thing I ever want to do. I'll tell you that. Anyway, let's uh, let's head down to George's. See what he's got going for the day. Ah. Uh, but he's gone now. The old caravan's gone. New one in it in its place. I think I might use this for a parking space, to be honest now. I have been thinking about this area a lot and how much I've neglected it. I had so many big plans. But I'm not going to be able to do anything. That's the problem. I am thinking about tearing this down. I was going to get some animals, but it might be a better idea. Tear this down. Maybe even tear this down. And just make a grass field. Do a bit of work. I've got a mower, got a planter, got a baler. Might make more sense for me just to focus on doing some grass work. I mean, look at George now. He needs some hay desperately. Hmm. Might be an option anyway. Anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Let's get down to George. Hey, up. Hello? Hey, buddy. I'm alright, you? Oh, I'm alright, how'd you get on? All good, sorted, it's in place now. Oh, why, is it any good? It's honestly, George, it's a bloody big improvement on the last one. Oh, you got a proper bed now, aren't you? Yeah, you should see it, George, it is, honestly, it's a step up. Well, I'm bloody glad to tell you what, that Ross, he's alright, really, isn't he? He finds some good stuff. <laughs> he's alright, I told you this for ages, that Ross is alright. I know you did, but bloody hell, he's still a bit annoying, isn't he? You know, but let's not give him too much credit. He still, still winds me up with every breath he takes. Bloody hell, he never shuts up. But anyway, Sponge will be alright. <laughs> well, we might have seen him later anyway, but we'll get into that later on. Alright, uh, no worries, I'm on my way down now. Alright, I'm outside. What do you mean you're outside? What are you doing? Well, I went and pick up some meat. What, from butchers? Is it processed? Well, I processed it. Well, what I have, tell you, a lot this morning. Got a lot done. What time's it now? Half ten. Bloody part-timer. Coming to work at half ten. 
Well, I know, but I was you knew I had to meet someone with that for that caravan and take and that take the other one. I oh, know. I'm just saying, bloody hell, it's been a while. I've, got, I've had a lot done, and for weather as well, I'm pretty proud of myself. Well, I'm sure I'll see you when I get in. Oh, your bloody see, you want to miss it? But yeah, I'm by the freezer, so come to me. Right then, buddy. I'm nearly here now. You a bit. What is he on about? Oh my god. Why did I even say that? What is that? Is insane. No one's gonna miss that, are they? What's he got on this? Vote for George for parish council this May. Real working farmer. A vote for hard working people. Greatly improved transparency. Yeah, that bloody needs to happen. He's right about that. Oh, I'll say. Remove the blocks in place that stop us all growing together. Good on him. Good on him. And the last one there. Supporting growth opportunities. A vote for me, or George, is a vote for real hard-working people. <laughs> he's done good there. He really has. I've, I've, I hope he's got the posters as well. I've, I've, I've got them ordered. They should have come to his house by now. He should have a load of them. Look at him. Entrepreneur, George. Bloody business on the go. He's got some more right here as well. If he plays his cards right, he'll be in the parish council. He's got a business on the go. Own farm. Bloody hell, he's doing well for himself. George, I told you he was loaded. He's got to be loaded, hasn't he? <laughs> Looks pretty good, though. I'll give him that. Ah, right, where is he? Hurry up, come with you. Come on with this. I'm coming now. Don't worry. Good, he don't worry about part time. What's these? What do you think they are? Bloody sausages, pork chops, bacon, everything. Boxed up, ready to be frozen. So this is all the processed meat then? Bloody is, come on, help me. Help the other side. I'm holding it now, come on. Right, go on, bloody lift it. I am, you've given me the heavy side. Bloody heavy side. There ain't no bloody heavy side. It's called I'm a stronger man, you're a bloody weakling. Come on. Bloody hell, George, chill out. Right, drop it to you, that'll be fine. Are you happy now? Well, I'm bloody happy. Come on, let's get out, shut the door. It's not like it's not cold outside. I bloody know I, but I don't want to make the outside world any colder, do I? But it costs money to do that. <laughs> right then. What you got left? I've got another one, but don't worry, there's only half, half a pellet. I'll be alright with that one. Fair play. Right, well, uh got a few jobs for you today. One of them you're going to have to come with me. The other one, I need you to go do something with, with round Keith's. But uh, I tell you what, I'll get back to this. Come follow me inside. All right, um, let's do it. I oh, may as well get it out of waste. But like I said, part time, it's half ten. You've done nothing. Absolutely bloody nothing. Go on, you first. No, 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 you first. Go on, George, you first. Have open gate. No, no, bloody ladies first. Bugger off, right. I was trying to be nice. Well, I know, but you know. Weakling, ain't you? With them bloody arms, you know. With them bloody arms. Go on, ladies first. Bloody, I'll shut the door. All right then. Forgot about it. Forgot about the door that you just walked through. Right, come on, bloody hell, come sit down. It's cold in here, George. Wait, bloody cost money. Have you seen gas prices nowadays? You can bugger off. <laughs> You're bloody loaded. I am a bloody loaded. Now stick that bloody kettle on and shut up. <laughs> do you know how much it costs to brew that kettle? I bloody do know. And every time you've been doing it, I've been marking it down. I'm going to start docking your wage. No, you're not. You can bugger off. You're not doing that. Well, bloody make it sharpish then. If you, if you make it within a certain time, then I want to dock your pay. What is... How am I always been hard to... I work hard and I earn my money. I work my work hard and I earn my money. It's half ten. Just got here, Bart Armour. Docking your ways today. Docking your ways? I can't get a caravan or else I'll be sleeping in your house with you. Oh, wow. Uh, right, I tell you what, I'll give you a pay rise just for today. You did well there. I don't want you in this bloody house. Christ. Am I ever going to get the ladies? <laughs> you get the ladies. What do you mean by that? No, wrong with me, I'm a catch. Yeah, yeah, like that bloody fish that made you get food poisoning. 
That's the type of cash you are, you bloody cheeky bugger. Oh, have you know, there's plenty of women around here that would love me. I'd be a great husband again. But I can't. My heart's only for Susanna. So unfortunately for the ladies, I'm off the market. <laughs> Fair play, George. Anyway, come on, bring us that bloody brew. It's still boiling. I can't boil water faster, can I? Well, I don't know, do I? Just bloody bring it over. All right, then. Same George, different day. Hey, these look all right, don't they, George? They've come out, they have. Well, they're all right. You've done a good job there. Should have enough here, shouldn't you? Well, I bloody hope so, and if not, I've got another box of them. Yeah, they're spot on, George, honestly. I think these will do the trick. Hey, bloody hell, wait till Tim sees these. Well, I bloody know. Oh, I'd love to see his face. I'd love it, honestly. I bloody would. I'll have him, I'm telling you. I'll have him after the end of this. I'll bloody win this, and I'll make sure that he ain't got a bloody say in this bloody town anymore. He don't deserve it. I'm telling you that. Well, let's hope so, George. You're doing the right thing now, anyway. Oh, I know. I know. I've officially disbanded the fellowship of the farmers. It's a sad day, but it's bloody true. <laughs> don't all laugh. Fellowship of the farmers was a great idea. It was the worst idea you've ever had. No, it wasn't. Eh? Bloody hell, Batman, Sponger and Sloppy Fish with bloody fantastic head in the party. I tell you what, I had a cracking time, a right good laugh. You were laughing at everyone's expense. Well, bloody hell, I don't mind. It was funny. <laughs> I bet it was. Anyway, let's talk about today, not about all this stuff. Hey, what are you on about? Oh, this is important. You've seen when you come in all them bloody fabric signs. Fabric signs? Is that what you're calling them? Well, the bloody fences with bloody plastic fabric stuff, that bloody stick in ground. I don't know, bloody hell. What do you want me to do? I can't describe everything in the world. You just can see it with your bloody eyes. You you, you drove past them. I know, yeah, I know what you're on about. It's a, basically a, f a fence, yeah? Ah, oh, bloody fence. That'll do us. Right, well, do you look all right? I know they do, ah. Oh. And I thought, I've got two of them left. I'm going to go down pub and ask them if I can stick them outside. I think if I can get the pub to allow me to do that, we should be on for a winner. And it, I think they will. I mean, bloody hell, we've been in there not enough. I know them by first name. I, I've never seen bloody Tim in there as well. So I think they should allow us. Yeah, I think so. What are you going to do with all these signs? Well, the posters, I'll bloody scatter them about. Down Bakery, stick one there. They'll bloody love this, I'm telling you. Tell you what they'll think, if everyone votes for George, we might bloody get donuts. Well, it could be incentive, free sausages and donuts. I bloody know, ah. Two rate. Well, ah, we'll sort it out, but it's all right. But anyway, let's not faff about that. I picked up the bloody meat delivery this morning from the butcher, so I'm going to put that in the freezer. I've only got one left, so I'll sort that. Right, we need Ring Ross. What do you mean we need Ring Ross? Well, bloody feed mixer, innit? Oh yeah, the feed mixer that you broke. No, 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 the feed mix that you broke, left broke, and then I came to it. And unfortunately, when I tried to use it, it won't work in, and you blame me. What? Um, that is the most fabricated story ever. Oh, ah, wow, look how you're getting now. You look guilty, and you sound it. Why has your face gone red? Face gone red? Because I've got the reflection off your stupid posters looking at me. Oh, bloody hell, look how someone gets edgy now. Who broke the bloody feed mixer? I did not break that feed mix. You're not blaming me. Oh, look, look, look at you. Going red and smiling. You look somewhat guilty over there, Scrot. Why don't you just admit it? You broke it, turned it off, walked away all sneaky, thinking no one will notice. And then I come bloody use it. It don't work and you blame me. No, George, you broke it. You're trying to pass something else on to me. No, nope. I'm telling everyone it was you. Well, I'll tell everyone it was you. Fine. Everyone believes me anyway. No, they don't. <laughs> no, they don't. No one believes you. No. See, oh, you don't say no. No, don't work. How the hell have you turned this against me? I've, somehow you've turned it on me. How am, I, how am I ending up like you? Well, I've told you. Can't you say no? You broke it. Right, forget it. Moving on. Oh, that's it. Move on. 
Don't know what now do you two fits? <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not gonna let you trigger me. Just shut up. <laughs> trigger, trigger. Oh god. Right. <sighs> right, George. Your fee mixer, what's your plan with it? Well, I've fed cows. Give them a bale again. There were some bales left down at the bottom of silage. I give them one of them and I give them a bale of hay. We bloody need hay desperately. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. First things first, mucked out, cows are fed. They do need a proper bloody TMR mix. So we're going to go down to Ross's today. I need to ring him, just check he's got something. We're going to take that bloody feed mixer. He's going to try to fix it and we're going to take one of his back. Now, from what I can tell, this feed mixer won't work him when I last spoke to him. So I'm hoping he's bloody fixed it. But he also said it looks like bloody death. What do you mean it looks like death? I don't know. That's his, that was bloody Ross's words, not mine. He says it looked like death. So I imagine it looks battered. Bloody hell. As long as he does a fee mix, it'll be all right while the other one's getting fixed. Exactly. So we need to go down today, both of us, pick that up, drop the other one off. We come back. I've got a task for you. I've sorted out with Keith. I'm going to buy off him a, f a full trail load of bloody of them alfalfa or a bales. Now, he's given us a proper discount rate because we, me and him and you bloody know that they're shocking. So he's going to let me have them on the cheap. But you need to go down, load up a bloody full trail load, bring them back here, put them away. Get them out the bloody environment, and them, you know, store them indoors. I can do that, yeah. Well, that's pretty much it. I've done the rest of it. You can't get out in the field with it where the light is, can you? No, no. Right, well, let me bloody ring Ross. All right, then. We'll go down, eh? Yeah, I'd rather go down now because I can get it sorted and get out to Keith's. All right, then. Just bloody hold on. Bloody patient, aren't you? <sighs> Just ring him and shut up. I put, I'm bloody ringing him, right? God almighty. Bloody youngins. Right, it's ringing now. Hey, up, Ross, you are right? Well, I'm all right, mate. Bloody snowing again, innit? We believe it. I don't know. Crazy, innit? Is it chilly where you are? Bloody chilly, mate. It, oh, it's chilly here, too. I don't know. Bloody late Feb. Unbelievable, innit? I don't know. That's what, bloody... Getting worse, though, innit? I don't know, getting colder, never mind warm, I don't know. But anyway, anyway, we've got plenty of time to chat about weather. I could chat about weather for hours. But I was ringing you up because me and Scroft need that bloody feed mixer. Have you sorted her out? Oh, yeah, bloody hell, top man. Right, well, are we all right popping down with the other one, then, so you can have a look at that? All right, all right, all right. All right, um... Right, we'll be down. Give us about, what, half hour, we'll be with you. All right, see you in a bit. See you, Spongy. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> I put phone down after that. Bloody hell, George. Right, let's get get hooked up and go. Ah, oh, you get hooked up and go. I'll wait for you. Just beat your own, I'll come out. Fine. Bloody hell, you don't have to run off. Well, I want to get going, I want to get sorted. All right, then. It's a big feed mix. I'm going to have to take Fent down. I think probably Fent's best bet. Let's get it hooked up and, uh, yeah, let off. Bloody George is on one today. Then again, when is George not on one? I think it's like a daily occurrence now. He's bloody crazy. What are you bloody looking at? I'm just looking at the fuel. I thought you said you fueled it up. I forgot. You bloody forgot? How much has it got? About just under a quarter. Bloody hell, Scroft. You're cutting it fine with this. This bloody drinks it. I know it does, I know. Well, bloody hell, you kind of do know about it now. We're just going to have bloody hope for the best, and if we need some off, bloody, get some off for us. Yeah, but you know he's going to charge you an arm and a leg. Well, if he does, it's coming out of your pocket because it's your bloody responsibility to fuel her up. I know, I know. All right, then. We'll be all right, I'm sure of it. Bloody hope so. Are you all right just perched on there? Well, I'll be fine. Don't worry about me. I know. I guess that's the benefit of being in a hobbit. You bloody what? A hobbit? You cheeky bugger. Well, <laughs> you're bloody small and round, aren't you? You'd roll down an hill, you would, George. 
I'll bloody roll you down an hill if you carry on, you bloody cheeky bugger. I can't believe you just said that about me. That's just bloody stung me to the core. <laughs> I can't believe you just called me an hobbit. And bloody fat. You said I was a fat hobbit, really. Roll me down an hill. <laughs> You've said worse, George. Bloody hell, boy. I'm actually pretty proud of you for that one. <laughs> anyway, come on, Mr. Borrower. What do you bought? No, I honour a borrower. That's you. Well, I don't know. You definitely borrowed too many things. Bloody hell. Yeah, actually, I've borrowed more than you. Oh, I know where you were going, though. Small. Yeah, exactly. You are small. I don't know that small, anyway. Well, you're smaller than me. Yeah, but bloody hell. You're like a bloody stick insect. There's nothing, nothing to you. What's wrong with you? Yeah, I'll eat a bloody burger. <laughs> I've got a bit of a beer belly, George. Ah, oh, but it's not bloody beer, is it? Well, no, not really. I don't drink much. Well, there you go, then. Bloody rubbish. You just keep bloody feeding on rubbish when you get back. You want to have a nice own cooked meal. It's bloody hard to do that when you're in a caravan, George. Well, bloody hell, make an effort. Bloody getting takeaways and running over the pub. Bloody hell. You'd do the same. I know I would, but you want to end up like me? Small and round? No, I don't, actually. Well, there you go. Maybe put some effort in or you'll end up like me. <laughs> Thanks for this. Thanks for the, the live coaching session. Well, any time, any time. Anyway, come on. Bloody hell, it's 20 to 12. I know it is, I know. As long as we get this feed mixer back and it works, I'll be happy. Then, bloody hell, you've got just load a trailer of bloody A and unload it, that's it. Not much to do it. I know, I'll be fine, George, don't worry, we've got plenty of time. These lights stay out a little bit longer. I know, I'm just trying to think, where do you want me do, what do you want me to do with it? Uh, I don't know, just do sex. Let's get out a minute. I'll be right there for a second. I think that's it up there. Can you back it in and just put it by his thing here? I can have a good go if you just guide me. All right, go on, I'll guide you. Just park it next to his bloody Volkswagen. It's a Passat, George. I'll bloody Passat you and him in. Come on. He's on one today, isn't he? Go on, girl, go on. Right, so... God, I'm getting close. You're bloody close to that. I know, I know, I know, I know. Let me just start this again. Go on, try again. You need to turn sooner. Go on, you're all right. Just turn a bit sooner. All right, and Ah, oh, that's, that's good. Go on, lock her there. Straighten her up. Right, how much room have I got? Go on, keep going a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That'll do, that'll do. Ah, oh, that's spot on. <sighs> right, you want it, and I'll do rest. All right, um. Bloody hell. Well, you didn't read there. You could have gone a bit more. Well, that'll be all right, won't it? Won't stop us. Uh, yeah, it'll be a read that will. Come on. Come on, let's uh, go figure it out. Bloody hell, George. From what I'm seeing from here, that does not look good. Bloody hell, it does look like death, doesn't it? Bloody hell, Ross, what's this here? Well, this is all right. This is it. I got this running. Only just, though. I, I'll be honest with you. A bloody nightmare this was. But I got it. I just opened it up. You're going to have to backtrack to it, though, so I can start it up and show you, like. Bloody hell, Ross. Where'd you find this? Should be in a museum. No, it's in that bloody hole. This ain't. It just... Bloody needs a good clean. I ain't doing that. You can bloody clean it. Scroff, you're going to have to clean it. I'll clean it off. If it runs, I'll clean it off. Is it a rate? It's bloody fine. Just go and get that bloody tractor and hook her up. I tell you now, it'll be a rate. Bloody try it. Bloody doubt me. Whenever I ever let you down, eh? How's that caravan? It's good, Ross. It's real good, actually. Well, bloody hell, there you go then. Get her hooked up. It'll be fine, this will. Just got to clean her off. I bloody hope so, Ross, I tell you. Need feed the cows, mate. I, I bloody I'm, I'm telling you, this is bloody fine. Just just looks ugly. Just needs a makeup, that's all. 
Oh, a bit like you. Bloody hell, look at Right, so let's uh, back her up then, I guess. I believe it will work, this will. Really. Does look bad though, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks rough as hell. You think he's spot on? Ah, oh, you good, you good. Go on, lift her up. Right, we good? Ah, just uh, let me drop this thing down. Right, start her up. Oh, good. Ah, oh, come have a look. Oh, she's moving. Bloody hell. Sounds like that belt needs a bit of oil. You're bloody clueless, you are. You don't know oil about. If you bloody oil about, it slips off, you bloody clown. Well, I don't know. I thought you did. It sounds like it was screeching. That's because it's bloody new. I've just replaced it. Give it a bloody few and it'll be a rate that will. Bloody oil about. You're off your head, you are. You know nothing, don't you? I know a bit. I was taught by a pretty decent guy back in Carmsden. Well, he bloody must be clueless then if he's teaching you stuff like that. I'm telling you now. Hey, don't him. Hey, Mick's all right. He's all right, Mick. He's a young lad, he's sound. Oh, actually, he's not a young lad anymore. He was a young lad when I was a young lad, so... He's all right, Mick, is. Right, well, what do you bloody think? I'm happy if you are, George. Well, I'm all right. Let's just bloody get up here. Get up there, Scroft, and have a look. What's it like? Why aren't I getting too close to that while it's moving, George? I know, I know. I don't want you to do nothing like that. I don't hurt yourself, but what's it look like? It's bloody moving. It's fine. It's mixing away. It's just, you know, it's empty like. Right. All right, then. We'll take it, Ross. All right, and well, I'll have a look at the one down there that you've dropped off, and I'll let you know the bloody uh, diagnosis on it. And you can have this as long as you need it. Oh, nice one, buddy. Nice one. We'll clear up and see how good she looks. She might have a few scratches, but from what I can tell, paintwork's all right. Just, you know, just might be a bit faded a little bit. Right, come on then, Scroft. Just get in, turn her off. I'll close this door. Right, um. What are you doing now? I'm just fueling it up. Alright then. I've just finished putting that bloody last uh, pallet away. I forgot all about that. Right then. What, is that in the freezer now? Well, it's in the freezer. I've bought it up. What's your plan now? Well, I'm going to go clean this off, and then I'll leave it. I'll, uh, I'll get... Uh, then I'll think. What I'll do is I'll go get that hay first before I do a feed mix. Well, they'll be alright. You give, I'll give them a bale anyway. A bale of each, so they'll be fine. Well, I may as well, aren't I? Clean it off. I don't want to use that bloody jet wash anymore, though, George. It's a bloody pain. What about some pain? I'll just use the hose. What do you use? What's the point in that? I've got a jet wash. George, that jet wash? Terrible. It's terrible. It's got no power. It's too small. I told you that when you first bought it, but then again, for a bloody hobby, it probably looks massive, doesn't it? You bloody cheeky bugger. How will you bloody get one, man? No, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll have a look for a good one. I'll tell you which one get. You can bloody buy it for your farm. Bloody hell. Fine, fine. Fine. Moving about the bloody jet wash. No wrong with this job. It doesn't. No, that's the thing. Not for farm equipment. It's not good enough. You need a bloody powerful jet wash, George. Like the one you've got for your parlour. Well, I'm not bloody bringing that out. You'll break it. Well, exactly, but you want it for the farm equipment. You want something just as good. Well, no, I don't agree. I think the one for the bloody parlour's got to be better, on it? Because, you know, you've got to bloody clean off all the time. Twice a day I've washed that bloody parlour out. Fair play. Well, anyway, I fuel this up and then I wash that. All right then, I'll leave you to it then. What trail are you taking down? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking of going. You just finish this off, George. That should be all right for a bit, shouldn't it? Well, I'll be all right. Right, I'm thinking of going. Has he got anything there I can load up with? Uh, he should do. Well, I've got my trailer here. I can use that. Oh, uh, you can use that. I don't know what else to use. Well, this one battered, isn't it, George? We were told not to use it. I know, I know. I'm not going to use that. I know why. I know. Don't use that. That's hard it, that is. 
I don't know then. I'll have a look around. I'll have a look around, but I think that's our best option, isn't it? Well, it looks it. I just need to figure out if Keith's got anything for me to load it up with. He's got that bloody small thing, but nothing like a load or anything. Uh, it should do the job, shouldn't it? Well, it should do job. Now, bloody hell, anyway, go on, go get that cleaned off. All right, um, we'll do. See you in a bit. Let's get this clean. It bloody needs it. I hope that it's uh, it'll last us out. I actually like it to be honest. I think when it's given, when we've given this a clean, it'll it'll be much better. Yeah, definitely. Hey, that's cleaned up well. You've done a good job there. It looks good, doesn't it? Do you know what, George? This might be worth having a look at. You know, long term. Oh, buddy, I'm not paying out. No, but think about it. If the one we've got is going to cost a bloody arm and a leg fix, this is actually in decent shape now you cleaned it out. I mean, you've got to think, though. I don't know how much you'd want. You'd have to look at that. But honestly, there's a few scratches, George, but nothing else. This is bloody brilliant. What do you think? I bloody know so. Honestly, I know so. That is spot on. Better size for our farm. I think the one you got was too big, to be honest. Well, why didn't you bloody tell me when I bought it? Well, because it was better than the one we had, but I think this is better. I do. I think if he gives you an option, you won't try... Obviously, don't act interested, but just... Just bloody ask him how much he wants for this. And if he gives you... Let's say that he says to you, it can fix the Abbey, but it's going to cost a bit. You won't say to him, what if I give you the Abbey broken and we get this in return? You might not have to pay a bloody penny. Hey, bloody, I'll tell you what, you, you've got clever you have. You have. You've been you've been listening to me. You've been taking in the bloody advice I've been giving you for the past few years. Cause that that's a bloody idea I would have had. In fact, that's an idea that I would have bloody had, if you give me a chance of it. <laughs> I bet you would have, yeah. No, I bloody would have. I like it. Good thinking that is. Anyway, go on, get on with you. Get them bloody bales back, get a fee mixed on with them cows. I will do, I will. You have to talk about trailer as well, as well, George. I know, I know. I bloody neglected it. I know. You do know that this is the only trailer we've got working one, and it's mine. This, this, this is the trailer that I got to, you know, go with my kind of like baler and mower and everything, just to do some some side jobs really and earn a bit of cash. I know that, but you're on the farm. It does the job. I know. I'm just saying, you need a bale trailer. You definitely need one because if I'm using that for one day and you haven't got one, you're going to be buggered. Oh, buddy, look for one, right? Just go on, get on with you, and I'll have a look. I promise you, I'll get it sorted. All right, George. Make sure you do, because you need it. You need it. It's, like, proper important you have that on the farm. All right, then, oh, buddy, look. I've got a lot on at the moment. Bloody meat. Bloody parish council, everything. Well, you can do that on the side. I'll help you do it. Just have a look, and I'll, I'll pick it up and everything. I don't mind. Whatever you need me to do, but as long as you pay for it, I'm happy. Oh, that's bloody sounds about right, doesn't it? Oh, bloody pay for it. <laughs> it's his farm. What's he expect? Bloody hell. Anyway, let's get down to Keith. We've got this trail loaded up. Full load, he said. See what we can fit on and put them away then. He should have something. I know we can use the loader or even the front loader. Or we can even use the Massey, the small Massey, on our yard, but I I'm sure he's got something. I'm sure he has. Bloody hell, Keith, it's bloody messy in here, isn't it? <laughs> Mate, you want to give this a bloody clean out? <laughs> Let's have a look at these bales. Have you kept them outside? <laughs> bloody hell. You want to try and bring them in, get them in some shelter, mate? <laughs> it's just going to get even more wet. They're bloody battered as it is. <laughs> Whatever you say, mate. Right, I'm going to have to load up a full load, yeah? Is that what you've agreed? Mm. Right, I'll just pick... I'll just pick out... I'll try and not get the worst ones. You know what I mean? We've got to give them our cows, mate. Mm. 
I imagine the ones at the bottom are the worst, eh? Well, I'll have a look. This one ain't too bad, actually. I'll have a look through, mate. I'll just load up and then I'll head off. I'll park this up somewhere in the yard. I'll, don't worry, I'll shut your gate. <laughs> See you in a bit, mate. Did George would go mental at me if I kept it like this. His tractor. And again, it's probably his knock around. It's probably his yard tractor, isn't it? Go on, girl. She ain't got much power, though. See that. I ain't got much space as well for this. That's one down. Let's get the rest of them loaded on. Go. Oh, let's just shut that gate and then yeah we'll get, we'll head off. I think that's enough. It's a full load anyway, so can't really do much else. Let's just make sure we strap it. Yeah, that'll be fine. Can't really get much else on there, can we? unload it now and then we're pretty much done there's not much else to do but at least we made the most of it and I was worried about the feed so having this is going to help us quite a bit uh, I'm just trying to think should I go that way nah I'll stick to main roads with it being the weather it is we don't want to tear that field up coming across it oh, that's one Keith save the day there mate All right there, buddy? Yeah, I'm all right. How are you getting on? Yeah, all right. Two seconds, I'll stop. Yeah, I don't know, worry. just thought I'd ask. Yeah, I'm fine, mate, honestly. Hey, you got enough there, didn't you? Yeah, pretty much. It's spot on, that is. I filled it up, so just putting them away. Oh, fair play, fair play. Well, that all ties over. How, how's it looking? Well, I mean, have a look at this, George, see what you think. Oh, wow. Uh... Don't know that good, is it, that? Uh, it should do, but um, it's not the best, is it? Probably have a drop of milk if we give them that, mainly. Well, if you if you put more bloody salad in than you normally would and maybe try and mix it up with a few hay bales we got left, I think we got, like, three, George. I well, know, we only got bloody many. Well, we're just going to have to do the best with what we got and then, obviously, this year, make more bloody hay. Well, make more hay and salad. Bloody hell, we've got to do loads more, really. 
But we didn't get one. I think we missed a cut, though. So we should be all right, I think. I hope so. Oh, I hope so. Anyway, come, come here a minute. All right, and what's up? Well, I was just bloody going to talk you through something that... I never actually told you what my plan was, did I? What, for the build? No, ah. Uh, for the bloody build, ah. Uh. Right, so picture this, right? I'm not 100% certain, yeah, if the bloody bunker's going to go, but it might go as far as that bunker goes. This shed goes. The old cow shed round here goes. Right. And then I'm going to get rid of that bloody thing. What, the slurry pit? Ah, oh, we're going to have a slurry pit, a new one. All this goes, milk tank goes, shed goes all the way down here. This gets leveled out, all of it. And it might be even the case that this bloody goes as well. Bloody hell, George. What are you going to do then? I've like something... Well, my plan was this track round here goes and works round the back. And then that's how we get round to the other side if we do. But yeah, it'll all be cut off into one big, big kind of shed area. Fair play, fair play. It's a bit of, bit of a task, isn't it? Well, I know, but we got to get bloody planning permission first, haven't we? Well, I'm hoping you'll get it, George. Oh, me too. Bloody ruins everything. And then come here, I'll show you the last plant. And I bloody honestly, this is the final dream, this is. And I tell you what, if this works out, I think it could be the bloody perfect idea. Perfect. All right, Em. Well, you know how we got this here at the moment, and it's just bloody got... Like Winnie in and whatever else Beanie does with the bloody horses looks after him. Yeah. We've got that building over there that does absolutely nothing. But round here, from what I've heard, bloody hell, they used to have sheep in here. What, are you thinking of getting sheep? No, no, I'm not thinking of getting sheep, no. What I was thinking is, imagine, right, we make that bit over there, that track all the way out, car park, right, keep the bench in, but this side, car park, bit of a track down here, farm shop. Farm shop? Ah, can you imagine? This bloody farm shop. But again, that's another thing I'm going to need planning permission for. We need to put new shed in first, and then up top there, I'll have a little bit of a driveway, and then just down here, just down here to the right of that tree, you'd have a little bit of a car park. Like a footpath down here that leads to this area, here, and all this, all this would be a bloody farm shop. Can you imagine? We could put all our pork chops in there, all the bloody bacon. We can get bloody other farmers from around the area working together. We can put their bloody produce in there. We've got the people at the bloody gardens that can put their vegetables in. We can go find a bloody beef farmer. You know, we can bloody put beef in if we're not doing it. But, you know, but it also gives us the opportunity to start doing some beef beef cattle, getting steaks in there. Because I'm telling you now, farm shop's got to have steak. Yeah, that's true. We've got bloody chickens for eggs. got bloody duck eggs as well. I mean, it's, it, I think it's bloody brilliant. And look at this area. Imagine just sitting out here. Come sit on this bloody bench. <laughs> I know what sitting on a bench is like. I know that. I'm just saying, come sit on the bench. Right, sit down here. Right, think. Just there, car park. Got these benches here. Bloody nice summer's day. Beanie's horses are out there for people to come and have a look at. We're working on the farm. We've got it's busy, people are coming to the bloody farm shop, buying our produce, and all the farmers around the area working together. You know, we're selling their produce as well. We're not just benefiting ourselves, we're benefiting everyone. Do you know what, George? Full credit to you, that is an outstanding idea. I mean, it sounds brilliant. It really does. I love it. I love that idea. Exactly. But we got to get that bloody building in first. New parlour, everything. Better shed. And then after that, planning permission, get a farm shop built. And that's where I want it. I want it just there. Well, I think it's a perfect spot, George. And a perfect idea. Ah, oh, bloody is. But, you know, some way off, it's a dream. But you never know. We might get there. I hope so. I hope so now you've said it. Right, well, come on. Let's go have a brew. It's bloody cold. You can finish putting them bales off after. You can know, do that feed mix as well. Yeah, as soon as I've put them away, I'll leave a few out and I'll do a feed mix and hope it's all right. Oh, well, it should be all right. Come on. We get a brew. It's bloody freezing. I know. I know. Go on. Ladies first. <laughs> bloody hell. Fine, fine. Bloody hell. I'll fall for that one this time. <laughs>